Hi, Taurus. Welcome to your soulmate reading. This is going to be about the contract the two of you share. I know that there everybody has multiple soulmates that they meet in their life. They could be best friends. They could be co-workers, um, family members even, siblings. This is about love. The soul contract that you share in each and every lifetime. How you, the two of you met in past lives and in this lifetime, how you will meet if you haven't already and how to strengthen the bond. And this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your Rising, Moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. It's not always going to resonate for each and every one of you. That's why I offer personal readings over on my Etsy, on my Etsy shop. Um, I am going to add a soulmate reading by the end of August. I'm working on things again. So if you would like a personal soulmate reading, if you don't know the person that you're with is definitely your soulmate or when will you meet them? There's other love readings over there. You could just add it in the description box and I will focus on that soulmate connection for you. All right. Your soulmate is your soulmate. The two of cups. You could meet when there, where there's like log cabins, a lake. Um, you might have met past lives here, but it's like when the two of you come together, it's like you just know. You're going to be open to this connection. They're going to be open to it. You both could meet at a time where it's rainy because they have rain, raincoats on. A time where it could be during the week because they have business attire on. Or you could be in a community setting where there's a party or maybe a wedding because he looks like he has a suit on. But you're both going to be inviting to this connection. Each and every lifetime you are. Could be a water sign that you is your soulmate. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they could have air in their chart. You could meet them online. They could have their own online business. They could be taking courses or teaching courses online or taking courses online. But it's like they're very intriguing when it comes to knowledge. They always want to be learning. You're always going to have very um, intriguing conversations. It's like they're going to teach you things that you never knew. And it's going to be like the ultimate coming together, storybook ending, happy life. You may have children. They may have children. It might be a coming together and having children, a meshing of family. It's going to be different for each and every one of you. Your past life, your person could have had their own business, could have been a fire sign in the past life. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius had their own business, could have been very high up, very wealthy, very in charge, could have been a boss or a CEO. You could have been also. You could have run a company together, an organization together, had your own multi-million dollar business billion dollar business but wealthy very committed to one another you had that union in the past life it was like there was no other connection that was this connection it was just the ultimate divine union Divinely guided in past lives. Could have also been a twin flame connection in a past lifetime. Emotionally stable and committed to one another. In this lifetime, you could come together through business. 
It could be um, the person walks into your place of employment or you're on a Zoom meeting about your um, your career, your business, and you you see them, it, you know, involved in the Zoom meeting. It could be around school. It could be that you're teaching or you're learning at school or somehow, some way, it's about finances or career for some of you. But it's going to also feel like it took such a long time to find you with the champions of coins because it's the slowest moving energy. But once you find each other in this lifetime, it's going to be very solid and grounded and trustworthy and going the distance. One of you or both of you might have a dog. One of you or both of you might enjoy riding a horse. And it's going to feel like a tower moment. It might come that you meet each other during an ending of some sort. Um, you might be going through a breakup and you meet this person. They could be going through a breakup. But it's going to be very unexpected when you come towards one another. But it's going to be very grounded. It's going to go the distance in this lifetime. You might even come together very independent um, on both your parts, very solid on both your parts with career, employment, finances, and you come together and you have a solid foundation. Both of you could be coming together wealthy, you could come together on your own solid foundation and gr and just get grow. Be very well off in this lifetime. Or just have like a nest egg for yourself. You could come together, like I said, and both have dogs. Could come together and have a child. Or you may have a child between the two of you. But it, you're both going to be each other's wish fulfillment. You might th meet them through, like I said, a coworker, or um, a friend of one of your your friends at at school, or like through a friend of a friend. But you're coming together, and you're each other's wish fulfillment. How to strengthen the bond? Always have each other's back. Always have that equal give and take. When you make a decision. Be conscious of how it's going to affect them and vice versa. What you give in time and effort, they're always going to show up and give the same back. It's always going to be reciprocated. And always be each other's divine counterpart. You are each other's divine counterpart in each and every lifetime. You always come together for this union. You will always love how each other takes care of each other. I mean, you will always love how they take care of themselves. They love how you take care of yourself. The happiness that you hold within yourself, they hold within themselves. How put together the two of you come into the connection each and every lifetime. And the passion. Embrace being swept off your feet each and every lifetime together. The two of you are going to do passionate things for one another. You're always going to try to remain playful and fun and flirty with one another and lighthearted. Again, another horse. And your soul contract. You always connect with each other on the 5 day in your dreams. When you go to bed worrying, when are you going to find your person? Why do you have these connections that just don't seem to work? You always connect with one another in your dreams for security, for reassurance, for comfort. See, it's like when the two of you are living your best lives and taking care of yourselves individually, that you come together. Each and every lifetime, you work hard for what you want in your own life, Taurus, and then that's when your soulmate is going to come right towards you. Coming in the same energy, 
having your hearts open to this connection in each and every lifetime. Very grounded. Very stable of of on yourself of of yourselves, and then coming together to have this solid foundation. This wealthiness of abundance of happiness and love. And just going the distance with one another. And for some of you, you are going to be wealthy. You're just going to have something to fall back on in each and every lifetime. And you save each other in each and every lifetime of feeling stuck. Of that self-imprisonment. Like I said, you might come together after some heartbreak. I feel like it's going to be very unexpected in this lifetime. And you are going to bring happiness to each other's life. The two of you are just going to get on top of that horse and ride together into the sunset, into the sunrise. You could be meeting at a, on a beach, like where there's a beach around you or a lake. But the happiness that the two of you bring to one another in each and every lifetime. In this lifetime, you're going to go the distance with one another. All right, for Taurus and their soulmate. Did anything else flip over? No. Both of you confident. Coming together and just knowing this connection. It's not going to be anything that you ever second guess because you're just going to know it. And it's going to be baby steps right into the, like I said, right into the sunrise, the sunset. Once you come together, you're going to go the distance with one another. Never looking behind. It's like, you know, I, I, I just met them and I never, ever once again thought about the past. It's going to be that kind of energy. Never thought about what didn't work with anyone else. It's going to be that kind of energy. You could be at a distance from one another. You could meet online, like I said. One of you in this lifetime could relocate towards the other. For those of you that haven't met your soulmate yet, Within two to four weeks, it could be during a winter season, January 22nd to February 21st, along those dates. Could be an Aquarius for some of you, but it's each other's wish fulfillment. Again, the star and the nine of cups, and it's divinely guided in each and every lifetime. You come together in just the perfect timing. Pay attention to rainbows. For those of you that have not found your soulmate, it could be very well that you see a rainbow. Pay attention to your thoughts and your environment. They could be right beside you. It could be that you're watching TV and you see a rainbow. Know that it could very well be that it's happening very soon for you. Spirit is connecting with you, trying to bring your attention to your thoughts, to your environment. It could be that you go through a heartbreak. Remember, every storm brings a, like it brings a new beginning, brings a rainbow. It could be that you go through a heartbreak. You step outside. You're feeling very sad that day. You see a rainbow. Spirit's telling you it's coming. Pay attention to repeating nines. Let me see what else I see. But in each and every lifetime, you are a divine counterpart, divine feminine, divine masculine. Very independent, coming together with solid foundation. I love it. Let me know how it resonates. I will be back for many more readings. Stay safe.